morning you guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be using the last the last palette in the Cara Beauty collection I know I'm super late but you guys I still got to get the video out so I tried to show y'all every brush that I was using but I kind of you know messed up um so the first color that we're dipping off into is what I believe is shades and we're just gonna tap that into our crease because we're gonna be doing a super cute cut crease hopefully you guys still enjoy it even though it is super freaking late I've been super duper busy and overwhelmed with everything that's going on in life and trying to run my business which I feel like I started my business at such a horrible time but I still got to keep it pushing so I believe this shade is cloud nine that we're tapping up above shades and we're using that same BH cosmetics it's my Ray Ray pencil brush I'm gonna try to tell y'all every single brush that I'm using but I may not remember so now at this point I am using baked I believe I pointed out all the colors at the beginning of the video <laughs> of what we use but I'm sitting here looking at the palette right now and I'm trying to remember exactly which shades was what but I do believe this shade is baked if you guys did not get this palette when it was the three bundle palette for $30 using trend moods discount code y'all y'all missed out but I did post the very first look at the right time at the time that this sale was going on so hopefully you guys got into it okay so this is the BH cosmetics brush that I did the trick that Kiki Adams and Brianna Marie um, did to make it a cut crease I used my lash glue and my NYX glitter glue and you know pinched it together and made it like as thin as possible and I could say it worked well somebody came out with this trick of using Vaseline to cut your crease first and then go in and I can honestly say it actually works y'all that made my cut crease so simple so shout out to my twin for getting me the p louise basis um because i'm using this pink one everything that is mentioned and used in this video will be down below in the hot box but i am using this base <clears throat> that my twin had bought me from p louise i wanted i was so so desperate to try it out and i just had to use it in this video which i think it did pretty freaking good and y'all y'all see how crisp that cut crease is i know i need to work on my cut creases some more but y'all this cut crease came out so pretty to me so now i am using that bh cosmetics brush and that is the 104 and i am trying to call myself using trap but like i told y'all in many other videos there's always one eyeshadow in these palettes that are like jelly form so it makes it hard to work with and that is trap and indica those two there are the hardest but right now i have went back over with some more vaseline and now I'm cutting that wing liner out and making it easier for me to create my wing line. I did add some tape so that it could be really, really, really sharp. And y'all excuse me because I'm drinking coffee as I'm doing this voiceover. Y'all know how real I get. So I ain't, I ain't even playing with y'all. But I am using my wet n wild mega liquid liner which is one of my favorites outside of nyx and i'm just trying to get that wing liner as sharp as possible and as flush to the pink as i can but in the meantime how are y'all holding up how are y'all holding up at this time 
let me know down below in the comments how y'all holding up i am using i don't even know how to pronounce their names but it's like a affordable brand glitter liner y'all i use these in almost every tutorial almost these glitter liners are one of my favorites and i'm using the purple one and as you could tell i am you know kind of feeling the look so i did dip into my boxy charm y'all and use this iconic london what is this illuminator and i'm using my my best top flat brush that i got off of amazon which will be linked down below in my amazon storefront if y'all want to go and purchase it i spoke about these brushes many a times and i absolutely love them but you're okay but i did go a little tin man crazy with the illuminator which is cool i just wanted to test out that iconic london i am using my absolutely favorite yeah i see that right um sephora foundation y'all know i have backups and backups and backups of this and the press powder so yeah love this foundation i would always repurchase it as long as sephora keeps selling it one of my favorite foundations and it matches me such such oh so well <laughs> Y'all know I do not like to redo my voiceover, so sorry. Not sorry. But I am using my Sonia Kashuk uh, blending brush, blending brush, br blending sponge to pounce the Sephora all the way in. My foundation that is in the shade Pecan, Pecan, whatever you want to call it. It's a matte, a matte foundation, and I love it so much. It matches me to the T. And I like the Sephora. Oh, y'all, my Sonia Kashuk. I have to go back to Target to get my Sonia Kashuk beauty sponge because it finally ripped in half on me, you guys, when I was cleaning it. So the shade 165 and the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer, one of my favorites. Y'all know I have like five different shades in this concealer, but I love them all. They all do its job however I'm trying to look. It does its job. I use this concealer a whole lot. Y'all should know by now. If y'all have been following me, y'all know I use this a whole lot. And I know I've been gone for a while, but y'all, I'm back. I'm back. Don't sleep on me. Don't forget about me. Jump back on the ride, okay? So here I am using that um, Milani Darker. No, that was the Maybelline. And that's in... I forgot the shade it will be linked down below I seriously forgot the shade but I'm using it to contour and I didn't want such a harsh contour so I went with this one by Maybelline fit me and it came out pretty good I'm using my I heart revolution chocolate banana setting powder and y'all I love this stuff I think I spoke about it multiple times on my channel I think I've been using it multiple times here on my channel before I went MIA but I absolutely love this powder and it smells like chocolate. It does not smell like banana. It smells like chocolate. And yeah, I love it. A little does go a long way. You don't have to use a lot. It is a perfect yellow and I'm glad that it's considered a chocolate banana shade because the banana is really banana. It's bright, bright, bright. So I'm using my... Physicians Formula, Butter London in the Deepest Shade with my Crown Brushes Angle Brush to bronze up my face, contour my face. I really say bronze because I really don't contour no more. But I do like the Physicians Formula in the darkest shade. It actually fits my skin tone. It's actually dark enough, so I'm happy for Physicians Formula for getting with us on the darker shades. Going over with the Nika K Duo. Using both shades just to deepen up that bronzer just a little bit more. And then here is my Bay, The Sephora Micro Smooth um, Press Powder. Once again, something I will always buy as long as Sephora is always selling. Y'all know that is like a holy grail to me. And I'm using another Best Top fluffy brush to pounce that in on my face I 
Oh, and side note, you guys, my edges have grown back, girl. So I am using the Jeffree Star. Let's just go ahead and put it out there now. I bought this way before everything in the world is going on. It was on sale. I bought it just because. And I'm going to use it. Not saying that I support all this stuff that's going on. But I did buy it. And this video is very old when I recorded it. So y'all don't come for me. Don't drag me in the comments. Y'all know I don't like Jeffree Star as the person, but I do like his products. And to be honest with y'all, this Morphe spray is just like Morphe spray. It just have a strawberry scent. So it really isn't, it really isn't um, like a Jeffree Star mixture. Like it ain't. Okay, so I got the Soul Warm Gold Highlighter sister brand to ColourPop. I bought this off of Poshmark. If y'all don't follow me on my Poshmark, y'all need to follow me on my Poshmark. I've been wanting this highlighter for the longest and somebody else was selling it on Poshmark, so I picked it up. And I can honestly say I like it. It is very chunky glitter. It is very huge, but I like it for the most part. And I am using my Wet n Wild highlighter brush. And I think those are discontinued. I think those were limited edition. So I am using, I think these are LA Girl Color Shock pencils. Um, this one is the pink one. I can't remember the name. I wanted to try them in the waterline. They are really quote unquote lip liners, it says. But I use it as a eyeliner. I'm popping Blaze It in my inner tinder just to give it a pop of color. Didn't know really where I was going with this look. I just wanted to freestyle a little bit. So, that's exactly what I did. Oh, y'all, this Bambi mascara. Y'all, I love this mascara. And I am I am using my Elegacy Boutique lashes. I will have the style down below. Um, y'all can use my coupon code down below for the lashes. Nobby Lip Liner in Dark Brown. Found them on Amazon, y'all. I will have them linked down below in my Amazon storefront. Love these lip liners. Y'all need to get on it. There was, I think, 54 lip liners for like $12. And every last one of them are pretty. Every last one of them don't match me, but it works. My Gerard Cosmetics Lippy in 1995. Use a Marie Beauty coupon code to save you some money off. The link is down below as well. Y'all check the down bar. Check the hot box because I always have coupon codes and links to everything. I'm going to pop a little bit of this Milani in the middle of 1995 just to brighten it up a little bit. And basically, that is it to this tutorial. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click your notification bell. And let me know what y'all think down below. And in the words of my lawyer subscriber, y'all keep shining. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.